Hi, welcome to The Money Clock. What we're going to do with this brief video is just go ahead and look at the filters that are available and how they affect the end results. The first thing you're always going to want to do is choose a market. The drop-down list shows you futures markets as well as forex markets. We'll go ahead and choose a market in this case, Euro currency, to analyze. The display results are shown here and the number of results that you want to display. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and plot this so that we can take a look at how things look first and then get into the actual filters that are there. This is the actual money clock page that you're going to be looking at the most. It shows you sells in red, buys in blue. In this case, this is a sell time period here from 9.05 to 10.05. That's an hour long. This one is from 7 to 7.25, only 25 minutes long. You'll always see what markets you're analyzing up here on the top, as well as the look back days, the accuracy, rank by, as well as the time ranges that you're looking at. The time slots that are available over here show you what times that are available, as well as the total dollars gained for that, gained or lost for that time period, what accuracy was there, and the overall dollar average per trade. Let's go back for a second. I like to display 20 periods. What this does is give me a bigger picture of the overall markets. Accuracy, I never want to look at anything less than 65%, so that's why it's defaulted at 65%. I'm actually always looking at stuff that's probably 85 to 100% accurate no matter what I'm looking at. How it's going to be ranked, in this case by accuracy or profit, I like accuracy over profit. And what I'm going to show, both buys and sells. I'm an equal opportunist here. I don't care if it's going up or down, but some people only like to trade the long side or the short side, and they're both available to you. The time periods to analyze and look at, we can look at anything from 5 minutes to 60 minutes. When you set it up as less than or equal to 60 minutes, we're looking at every single time period. I think that's the best way of looking at the overall markets there. What time zone you're going to display it in, Pacific, Central, or Eastern. I'm in California, so obviously Pacific for me. And the look back period, the number of days that you want to analyze. I like to start off with around seven days myself and then drop down from there to look at to see if there's any new trends appearing. Let's plot this. Now we're looking again at the same euro currency, but our look back period is seven days. Same other filters that we've got up here. If you look at these, you're going to see any one of these particular bars are trades, time periods, 8.10 to 8.55. That is a 45-minute time period. If you choose that and look at it, what that actually represents is, in this case, since it's blue, if you bought at 8.10 and you sold at 8.55, every day for the last seven days, you would have made money 100% of the time. These are the individual trades that it made. The total for that period of time over the seven days was $825, and the average for each day was $117. We can close this, and we can look at any of the other ones here as well. Same thing with the sell. If you sold from 11 to 11.25, you would have made $130 on average per trade, been right 100% over the last seven days, and netted out a total of $913. Now granted, this is hypothetical backtesting, so we can't actually say that these were trades that were actually taken, but this is how we do our, anal and our analysis to determine what time periods are the strongest for us to take. Let's go ahead and take a look now at some changes. Let's change this now down to, let's say, three days. When you look at three days, you're going to find the new trends that are coming into the marketplace. When you see them line up like this, in other words, there's a ton of cells that start somewhere all around the same time period here, start around 635, and they all vary in length. That means that you really want to start to look for selling that occurs around 635 in this particular market. You can see by the column that's over here that we have 100% accuracy on all of these trades. That's pretty darn good. Very strong indication that some selling has been coming into the market at 635 for one reason or the other. Again, that's 635 Pacific time. That's it for now. We'll get into more analysis of the markets and how we actually interpret these results later on. This is just a quick video to show you how the filters work. Thanks for watching.